In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your first Dash application on Heroku Cloud. So this is a simple Dash application. I have downloaded it from GitHub and the link is also provided in the description of this video. So in this application, we are having four files. So this is the code in requirement.txt. We actually write what package our application is going to need with version number and this proc file this is a very important file and what is the content of this proc file is web unicorn run server so this application is used by heroku to run your application so now we are going to initiate the process to deploy this application on heroku cloud so what you have to do open your terminal let me open it from the beginning So after opening the terminal, just uh, go to this directory. So I'm having all these files in a directory first, which is stored on desktop. Now what you need to do, you need to uh, commit this directory in git. So how are you going to do that? So first run git init. Okay, then run git add dot and then write git commit initial. Okay, so the as a next step, what you have to do, you have to log in, in your Heroku account. So make sure that before initiating this process, you have installed Heroku CLI on your system if you don't know how to install it i have also provided the link to the video which will show you how to install heroku cli so in order to log in in heroku what you need to write heroku login so as you can see it automatically open a tab in your browser so just click on login Close this tab back to terminal. Now what you need to do, you need to create a application on your Heroku account. So how are you going to do that? Heroku create and and now here you have to select a name. So I'm selecting first ape one two eight nine. So when you select a name, it will search this name throughout uh, through his directory and it will see whether this name is already exist or not. So in our case, this name is available and uh, on the deployment, this will be the link to the application and this is the link for Git. So after creating this, next we need to run this command Heroku Git remote a and the name of the application so here we are setting a remote directory for our application so it's done now we are going to push our application to Heroku So the next step, we have to create a dynamo, dyno to make our application live. So how we are going to do that? Heroku, yes, scale web 
one. So just open your link, which we have seen earlier. So just go to browser and open this link. So our DAS application is successfully deployed on Heroku. Thank you very much for watching.